You escaped from L.A. before the massive strike. Yeah, well, there was a, I, I think it didn't affect flights as much as I thought, but it was a 11,000 city workers decided to strike. And a lot of those are, but air traffic controllers are federal. Uh, but the baggage claims all screwed up. They canceled a bunch of stuff. I don't know. It's 11,000 city workers. I don't know what they're, what, you know, it's, I think it's a, a bunch of different groups of them that want stuff. Yeah. Is there like specific demands? Like, is it pay increase? Maybe they want to stop getting killed by the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's very reasonable. Maybe it has nothing to do with money. And they're like, we just want to stop being like people flinging their excrement at us while we're cleaning the park. Could be. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the demands are. Do Maybe you know they're what? scared they're going to be replaced by AI, like the actors might, and writers. They might be. Who knows? You know what the sketchiest thing that I saw about the whole actor-writer thing was that for background players, when people work on a film, they wanted access to their image forever. Right. So they would take you and make a digital version of you. Yeah. So if you're like a background guy, instead of paying background people to hang around in some crowd right. scene, they will now just fill it in with you. So the same background people, which is like one of the nuttiest fucking like fringe theories of any catastrophe is that you have these these actors. Right. Like what do they call them? Catastrophe. Crisis actors. Crisis actors, right. Right. Where these people are hired by the federal government yeah. and they they appear in like multiple different scenarios. Yeah. Where they say that something happened to them right. and the shooter entered into the building. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're striking next. The crisis actors. <laughs> they're going to go, I am worried that my likeness will be used as Sandy Hook in perpetuity without my... Yeah, it's weird. It's weird because it doesn't seem like there's a way to prevent it. You know, Prevent the digital use of your imagery? Yeah. Well, everybody's... Every, business in the world is using AI, right? Yeah. And, you know, these movie studios and, you know, streamers spent a lot of money investing in uh, AI technology during the pandemic. They A lot of in-house AI projects. And, yeah. you know, I imagine that they're going to utilize that technology to some degree. I agree, though, that it's creepy and it will eliminate a lot of jobs. And if there's a way to stop them, great. But is there? There's no way. There doesn't seem to be a way. No, that train is rolling, and there's right. a lot of track in front of it, and it has insane momentum, and you're yeah. not going to put your hand out and stop it. Yeah. You might mitigate the effects. Maybe the government would pass like a law saying, listen, you can't replace more than 10% of your workforce with AI over the next five years. I don't know if that would even be a feasible thing to do, but maybe they could do something like that. Like The, the problem is... If you have a business and the business can be better run by AI, do you have a responsibility to hire human beings to do a lesser job? Great question. It's a real good question. Great more Just and if you ethical, listen to these moral question. like Drake songs that they're coming out with AI, so Eminem song that just came out with, they're good. Yeah. They're good. I was just having a conversation with Post Malone about it. Because you know, Post uses like auto tune, but he writes all his own songs. You know, and he's, he performs all his own songs. And I think his fans want to know that's him singing the song. They would probably still enjoy a fake Post Malone song. But, dude, I saw him live last night. When you see these people singing along with him, it's something really powerful, man. It's, yeah. it's not just like a regular concert. It, they, they fucking love that dude. Well, look at the Taylor Swift thing, which yes. I feel very left out of because <laughs> I'm the only person that has not seen it. And I don't, I don't get it. Like She's clearly talented and God bless. I just don't have that thing where but I'm you're like, not a girl. That's yeah, all but it the, is. But the dudes are there too. Yeah, Dave Portnoy loves it. They all, a lot of people love it. And I don't get it. And I just... And I don't begrudge anyone else getting it. It's just Have not. You, but maybe if you go to one live, you'll get it. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be a spectacular show. E e e sure. Like tons of I, dancers I, and visuals. Great. And yeah, I just. <laughs> did... <laughs> That's phenomenal. I grew up uh, listening to people like Tina Turner and Janis Joplin. Yeah. And so to me, right. it's like Taylor Swift. It's different. It's yeah. different. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to be attacked. I don't want people following me. It's just. It's different. It's just. It's. You know what I mean? It's like, this is like the same thing about the Barbie movie. 
Yeah. Maybe it's not for you. That's right. And if it's not for you and you're, that's okay. you're going and giving this scathing review of right. something that's clearly not for you. Right. 